I can see through you. Because inside your you're just gonna let you guys sing the whole song. But I'm not you know. divorced, but like I know that song by heart, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the that's divorce bat divorce dead rock. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say it's part of the package for Dead Rock, you know. Yeah, no, it's that. It's Godsmack. Uh, it's, yeah, I got mm. voodoo. voodoo. <laughs> 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 you know? hey, it's how our parents and our generation, those that generation, and part of ours uh, are co- uh, coped. <laughs> Even so, I was about to say, like, I was about to say, that's how my dad was coping with me growing up, and that's how he taught me how to cope, and now he's <laughs> using the same fucking things to cope. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, um, so you both uh, wake up uh, chained in, in a cage together. Uh, oh, there is uh, a there is an audience of uh, gigantic. Females uh, just chanting "Ooga booga, ooga booga." How do they have the chains? How how do they have chains? I've seen this episode of Futurama. I am so (laughs) down. (laughs) I rolled a fourteen. You rolled a fourteen. Okay. Hold on. 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 Snoo snoo. Hold. I guess I'll keep that guy. They rolled a two. (laughs) Roll. Note to self, do not use these dice when I'm playing D&D with my friends. (laughs) You gotta put that you gotta put them in the fridge to show them how naughty they are. Yeah. Oh, you can't see that. I got got 17. 17. All right. All right, Brandel. You're trapped in a cage. You're chained uh, next to uh, Brayden, what are, what are you doing? And if you want to describe your character, you're free to. Uh, well, um, I. Um, and if uh, you want me to describe them, I can. <laughs> do you <laughs> have an idea do, of what we're supposed to be already? No, but I, I, I will just come up with something on the spot for you. Do that because I did all nothing right, to right, prepare so, for the uh, character. Brandel is a very skinny. Uh, very hairless little halfling, but like there's definitely some elvish features on there. Mm. Also, he's like a super twink. He's like a super twink, yeah. (laughs) Think, like almost, could almost pass for a little boy, but like Mm. she's just like just wrinkly enough in the face that you're like no, that's that's a man. That's a grown ass adult. It's like like, uh, the one dude who I forget the name of from like Delicious in Dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Basically. I was people also, are like, who is this child? And he's like, I'm 40. Yeah, yeah, and I, and <laughs> I, I caught the sense of uh, Mr. Tiny from Cirque de Freak. If you guys remember that book, oh my <laughs> <Yeah>. god, <laughs> let's do something fun before we start that rant again. But, um, <clears throat> anyways, um, so, um, um, <clears throat> And he he has a, a little a little dagger attached to his like uh, uh, like it's a, literally embedded in his skin um, that he it looks like it's a tattoo but it's just kind of like indented in there and so like the Amazonian woman just didn't didn't happen to notice it so you do have a dagger on you but otherwise you are buck ass naked and completely oh. hairless okay yeah. well so we're currently both of us are currently both of, both naked ass naked yeah okay I see. Uh, I guess my first question is, is it seems like because it seems you stated earlier that these are like gigantic cavemen women. And if they are cavemen, I am curious to how they were able to chain us up in that if they're able to do that. And they're just chanting Ooga Booga. Ooga, oh, are are uh, you going to say fuck nerd? Said, he wakes up about to deal with Snoo Snoo and his first thing to do is make a history check. <laughs> well, you, I thought you said chained. That's why I was confused. You are chained. You are chained. Oh, then how do the, they? Have the, the Amazonian chains? women. They're just chanting "Uga Booga." You have no idea if they're like 
actually cavemen women or not. They're just giant, <laughs> kind of hairy women. Um, kind of hairy? Kind of hairy. They're, they're, gonna hairy. Ugu, they're gonna ugu your ungus. Hygiene right, is so not that. important for them. Let's just say that. Wow, okay. Even so that means better. I can s- smell their waft from uh, 20 feet away, then? Make a... Uh, oh my- <laughs> Make, make a smell check. check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll. Okay, uh, your, your wisdom modifier is plus two, by the way. Okay, okay so plus two to your wisdom. seven is what I rolled. Okay, so, so that, you know you're you're mostly getting whiffed of like other ball, like ball smell from your buddy next to you. <laughs> so it's a little okay. overpowering. <laughs> Got it. Uh, okay, you can't so tell. I, I guess my first question is, what are we doing here, and why are we chained up? Do you want to try and recall that? Re- recall? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, you, like, do, do, do you want to try and remember that? Uh, I'm confused. Yeah, I mean, you which... have like one more action, man, before it's a before yeah. it's great oh, so. oh, I see. I get. I see. I see. I forget, yeah. uh, uh, it does look like you're in an arena of some sort with like. I know, see. Yeah. Can I try? I can I try to pull on the chains? To see if I can, uh, if they're like uh, worn, so I can like break them off or anything. You know yeah, sure. Saying? Make a strength check. Yeah. Okay, strength check. With your you, know, you, you have a minus one. You have, no, sorry. You have a minus three to your strength. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did we roll? Just uh, subtract three from it. Oh, <laughs> I just I rolled a three. So oh, okay. as I'll you go to that. snap the chains. Um, your tiny little frame just like lurches forward uh, and like <laughs> you take you break your fingers you take <laughs> yeah, two points of uh, bludgeoning damage oh no <laughs> okay that tracks um, and that's like, what I get for you're, you're pretty certain your left wrist is a little broken <laughs> mm, that's what I get like for something trying fractured. <laughs> I, I Brandon, do you want to describe your character or do you want me to describe your no, character? No, I want you to. You you <laughs> you've alluded uh, to some things I'm curious about. So describe me. How do you uh, see me? Uh, next next to you is a very uh thick, um, uh, very hairy uh dwarf man. And uh <clears throat> he is he is he is built. I, I'm talking like stocky. I'm talking like his balls are just drooping. Like, like <laughs> down to his knees, dragging um, him, like dragging him across the floor, mate. Basically, yeah. Um, and uh, he he is missing an eye. He has an eye patch. Uh, there there is a scar that runs across his back, uh, clearly from an old wound. And his asshole is prolapsed. Not nah, um okay. <laughs> you, you, what what you looking at? You ain't never seen a prolapsed. <laughs> I wanted to ask yeah, the I lost the accent. I lost the accent. One sec. <laughs> what you looking at? Ain't you ever seen a prolapsed dwarf arsehole before? <laughs> One thing you do notice is there is a bunch of rune tattoos like all up and down his body. And they seem to give off a faint shimmer of, of light. It glows to indicate something. All right, so what you done? I am going to observe. I am going to observe the cage that we are in. All right, make an investigation check. You have a minus one to your investigation checks. (laughs) Sixteen. So fifteen. Oh damn! Damn. Yeah, so uh, the cage, you, you notice, is not actually made out of metal. It seems to be uh, uh, like molded earth, like uh, someone had molded earth into a cage around you. Um, and it looks to be magical in nature. Mm. Oh, no, we're dealing with one of these fuckers again. It ain't <laughs> metal, so it can't use me dwarf magic. Me dwarf prolapsed arsehole. To break us out of the cage. With your asshole? With me arsehole. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to be clear on that, but you know. <laughs> Let me observe <laughs> that my Amazon Unga Bunga woman lass. So you guys are just going to sit there? <laughs> okay. Well, the... Well, uh, I just 
No, I was going to make a perception roll. Uh, t- make a perception roll. I want to find out if there's anything interesting about the cave woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, roll, roll for perception. You, uh, you have a plus, uh, plus three actually to your perception checks. Critical fail. <laughs> Yeah, no. So you're you're a little distracted by the twink boy in front of you. It is you are like, <laughs> was I caged up naked next to a child, and now you're a little afraid about what other people are going to say. Uh, <laughs> you've been in a similar situation before, where like you definitely didn't do anything bad, but you were being set up by a, a priest of the same order that you're from. Priest set up again. Yeah, but like oh, you're. Oh no! Oh no! 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 You, no, you can to remember that you are in fact a paladin. Um and uh and uh Brandel <laughs> your character begins to remember, oh wait, yeah, shit. I'm like a I'm like a uh a, a rogue, uh, but like that stole magic. Uh and so like you know magic spells in addition to being a rogue. So you're an arcane trickster mm-hmm. rogue. Yeah. So I see. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh I don't know if you had something else lined up for this, but yeah, no, no, no. So <clears throat> as you guys okay, are sitting there waiting, a uh a very uh, attractive looking uh unga bunga woman amazonian woman comes up and shouts uh shouts out in common and she goes sisters i've gathered you here today to witness our sacrifice now that these males have been used and spent up and we have successfully breeded about 35 uh, <laughs> we can <laughs> sacrifice them in our ritual <laughs> by delivering them unto our ancestors' favorite animal, a T Rex. Come out uh, from across the arena. As lad, a, if they, I, lad, if they used if they used our DNA to reproduce and they grew you, rapidly, how many of these do you, of the thirty five do you think are your children? I'm betting two <laughs> at most. I just want to remember what had happened. That's what I'm more scared about. You can't Look recall anything. Look at the shriveled nutsack, lad. You know damn well what happened. You can attempt can I, to, if you'd like. You, you bet, like, off the top of your head, you can't recall. But, no, can I use... You said I uh, am magical, question mark? Yeah, yeah, you can do I have use, some magic. Can I use some kind of magic for to try to remember? Hmm... Yeah, I'd say you may know Dispel Magic. Um, that's one of your higher spell slots. So you're welcome to use that right now if you'd like. I will give it a try. Okay. Um, okay, just I need you to roll a d20 and then you'll okay. be adding your spell casting modifier, which is a plus uh, plus uh, seven. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good spell casting modifier right there. 15. So, twenty two. Yeah, so you're able to dispel the uh, memory fog enchantment that they placed on you. Uh, okay. Well, really, it was the uh, they cast uh, they cast uh, the uh, seventh. No, what is it? I can't remember what level spell it is right now. But essentially, it's a spell that lets them fuck with your memory, and they just essentially remove the scenes where you were having sex oh, with a bunch they, of them. I was gonna say they drugged us. They 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 put a pill in our drink here. No, 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 no. They they <laughs> they cast a spell and remove the memory of you sleeping with them. They didn't want to give you the pleasure. It was all meant oh, just for oh. them, their enjoyment. Uh, males uh, seem to have no importance in their society. They fucking back in my, back in my day, we didn't have to use magic for that. It was just called alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> couple of barrels of ale but, uh, and you don't remember as, anything. Do as they you realize? Yeah, so you you do remember that the uh, they they talked about the T Rex and that the T Rex has uh, one weakness, and that is uh, a female T Rex. It is constantly horny. It is, it is super horny. It wants uh, female T Rex puss. Um. <laughs> <laughs> they crave it on purpose. It's it's part of their ritual. Their their uh, oh, practices. The T Rex is female. No, no, no. Their T Rex is male. So, and like oh, the reason okay. they sacrifice males to a male T Rex because it's part of their ritual. It's part of their ancient practices. Mm-hmm. You also remember more about like where you come from and stuff. You you realize that you were 
out here on an expedition with your paladin buddy friend. Um, and uh, you guys just ended up tra- venturing out a little too far into the jungle and got captured while you were out there. So or did we were... walk just far enough into the jungle? Yeah. Do they realize that I had done that and remembered? Um, Do I give that away? No, you know they're a little too distracted. They're, they're a little too hyper for the ceremony. I see, I see. Yeah. What do you mean was the T-Rex a female? Look at it. It's red rocket. It's staring us straight in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's quite auspicious. It's, um... <laughs> that was your action. Is there anything else you'd like to do uh, on your turn? Uh, can't, uh, just, uh, mm. Does the T-Rex understand anything we're saying? Um, Are you going to roll to seduce the T-Rex? You do have speak with animals. It is a spell that you uh, stole and learned. So you, you are free to cast uh, speak with animals. Does on your that count as a, okay, I was going to say that counted as... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you, you know, because you dispelled the memory fog, you know that you can do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just end it there then, because I don't have anything else in mind. Okay. Uh, do I have any cantrips or abilities? So, um, from what you can tell, you do remember somewhat that you are a paladin. Um, you do know that you have some like divine strength, and um, you don't remember what oath you were, so you don't remember what spells you can cast right now. You are free to try to remember, try and surpass the uh, <laughs> the memory lapse that they put in you. Oh, so I didn't tell him then. Yeah, no, you haven't told him anything. Yeah, you just yeah, kind of yeah. did it all yourself, man. It just like all came back and you're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I probably realized that like if I tried to say something out loud to him anyway, that it might cause more issues. I mean, you can. You can try and talk to him and like secretly. I like, I like, I, <laughs> yeah, like and you can assist hey, him. Right. I mean, Braden, you want to try and remember what oath you were? Uh... I was going to say like an easy, the easiest way I can think of to remember the oath would be just to try to cause a single point to damage, but remembering it might be a little better. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's, uh, yeah. So just, uh, go ahead and, uh, roll a general wisdom check again with your wisdom modifier. So plus three, uh, 15 plus three, 18, 18. Okay. Um, are you gonna aid him at all, Randall? Mm, yeah, I guess so. I try to lean over to him, uh, and whisper, uh, if he remembers anything too. If not, I try to tell him with all the craziness that's going on right now. As, as he does that, you do get advantage in rolls, so you're allowed to roll again. Okay, d20. Oh, no, 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 no. So, Brady, Brady no, gets rolled. Uh, 18, 18. Okay. okay. Damn. So, um, <clears throat> that's what Even with this far. assistance, you're still kind of like, oh, man, what the fuck? Like, whatever they did to you, it really fucked with your head. You're not even certain what you are. Um, uh, you, you know that, like, you're pr- a pretty angry paladin, and you know that you have, like, some stuff that can, like, Stop we kind of make people do what you want them to do. Uh like magic, but you don't have much else other than that. You know that like if you hit things, you can you get to you get to do a bunch of like super damage by burning one of your spell slots. <laughs> so by expanding that, some that, of your magical that, power, your divine power. So so I'm vengeful palette in order, not broken. Potentially. Else. Potentially, you don't know. You just know you're an angry paladin. Mm. Okay. You could kind of make people do what he wanted to sometimes. Mm. So I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call out to the Unga Bunga lady. Hey, what do you say? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> your society's so strong there. About to sacrifice us to your T-Rex god. Why don't you open the cage? We will open the cage. Don't worry. We're going to give you a fighting chance, you pathetic man swine. 
<laughs> I guess ye want it comes have some sense of honor. Yeah, but you have to fight it barefisted. So, you know, that's... Anyways, open up the cage. Let's, let, let's, let's get this started. Come on, guys. We, we already got pregnant. We already got what we needed out of them besides this part. This is the last part of the ritual. So, um, And she says that the cage just kind of melts um, and goes down into the ground. Um, and your chains actually also melt and go down into the ground. I cast abortion AOE attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you go to do that, Brayden, <laughs> where are you pointing your abortion AOE attack? In the air. <laughs> you do that. A giant fireball <laughs> pops off. Um, just like kind of like where the air, just like general, like. Is it like raining down <laughs> like spores? Oh my god! Yeah, it's it's like it's like it's like shooting out in an arc, and it's kind of like splattering everywhere. You know, it's like a reverse cum shot, where instead of giving life, it takes it. But not at anyone at all. So like, it's just kind of just up in the air, right? No, it's basically like I'm gonna I'm gonna take as many of these fetuses as I can with me if I'm about so you to were die. Pointing, you were pointing it at at the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh we're not Lord. expecting that. Um I'm not either. Damn. Okay. I need you to roll six D six. Wait, no, how much is fireball? Fireball is okay, yeah, you know, just roll ten D six worth of damage. Alright. Five. Yeah, again, there are like what you can tell, there are children in this crowd too. Oh, oh no. This you is like I that moment care, where Vegeta goes into Majin Vegeta and just <laughs> blows up <laughs> the crowd of the world <laughs> tournament of power, not tournament of power, but at the world tournament. Okay, oh, so man. you can roll ten D sixes. Yeah. Okay, so total is forty one. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, you watch as you are like, no, gods, no, I can't have kids. They're all gonna want me money. You point. They're coming for me, lucky charms in my mind of gold. <laughs> and um as you do that, uh just you watch as about like 30 to 40 of them, and this is just like all, all these women. Uh, some of them are carrying babies. Some of them you can tell are definitely like little girls, like children, you know, um, I must be you know, checking me gold. They had, like dude. little teddy bears and stuff. And you watch them just turn into ash <laughs> <laughs> and like crumble. There, there is like shadow imprints of like where they were standing left on their benches. Like <laughs> <laughs> you see, okay. you see a mother hunched over, um, <laughs> Barely living, holding on to her dead child, just weeping. <laughs> and that's when you hear <clears throat> the the leader say, "Attack! Kill them!" And There's about, only one of you left. <laughs> no, no, well, no, you, that was only at a section. You were surrounded, if you don't remember. And about uh, eighty armed female warriors come in, and they all have swords drawn at you. Um, the T-Rex is also uh, coming at you. And, uh... Boy, lad, this might be a good time for some illusion magic. <laughs> Make them all look okay. like bitch T-Rexes. <laughs> I was actually going to double down and fuck with their mind and force them to either fight each other or just kill themselves on the spot. I already wow. got that covered, mate. Just use illusion magic and make them all look like female T Rexes. That's a good idea too. Right, it is back up to okay. your turn, <laughs> Brandel. <laughs> this is the last turn before you're about to get like just lynched with arrows, and then the T Rex goes too. So uh, you do have illusion magic. You can cast minor or major illusion. You do also have a polymorph um, spell that you can cast. So you can turn one person 
if it's an unwilling creature, they will transform. Um, you will need to ro- uh, well, they'll need to roll a save. It'll be against your uh, your spell DC, which is nineteen. So if I roll nineteen or or higher, um, to a polymorph. So if you're gonna try and polymorph someone into a female T Rex, that's an option. You can also just cast illusion, and I can see if they fail or not. And so, okay, if I do the illusion, is it a single target or can it do AOE? It's a single target. You don't have like an AOE illusion spell. Mm. Let's do... (laughs) Because that doesn't help us either with uh, the rest of them that are pointing their weapons at us. You do know you have the ability to cast magical darkness in about like a 60 foot area. So like um, you can just create like this little pocket of darkness, like magical darkness around you guys. Do I know what that entails? Um, It's magical darkness. Neither you nor your paladin buddy will be able to see, but neither will anyone else. Let's roll for that then. You don't need to roll. You can just cast it. Oh, cast. Okay. So (laughs) you cast and then just this uh, mist of darkness just like bamps out and you guys are encompassed in it and covered and uh, you can't see uh, but you did uh, quickly both of you just roll a perception check for me. I need to get rid of all these D6s. Mm, 13. Okay. Braden. Crit fail. So, okay. Mm. Randall, you did notice when the female guards were uh, running in to the arena, you saw where they ran in from. So you do mm. know that there's a chance there's probably an exit out that way. Um, it will be a bit more deadly and tricky to try and get out of there, but... There's a chance. Um, uh, at this point, though, it is the dinosaur's turn. Uh, the dinosaur is going to attempt to make an attack at where he thinks you guys are at. Uh, he does okay. have disadvantage. So that's like a 12 plus 7 or 17 plus he 7. can't see you if you aren't moving, lad. Oh, 15 <laughs> plus 7, that's 22. Uh, he is going to attack the dwarf. So, um... Uh, you dwarf only have an AC of um, well, without your armor. You have an AC of fifteen. So, um, you will be taking two D twelve of damage. That's one. <laughs> That's a one. <laughs> it's four. You only take five points of damage of, uh, yeah. of piercing damage. So the T Rex does get a chomp on you, but because of the darkness, it just is able to get like that much of you uh it does buck up your arm pretty good though like you have like a punctured hole through your arm right now of your left arm oh this big lizard's a kinky bitch huh (laughs) my own mother could stab me harder than that okay um and this is where we get back to the top of the round uh before the amazonian guards try to and there's 80 of them so they'll uh try to rush into your known location after this and try to take swings at you guys so you're welcome to try and get out, uh, try to get out of either the darkness to see if you can find an alternate route of escape other than just rushing down the guard, uh, guard tunnels. You can also try and attempt to hide. Um, so that way, when you sneak out, you aren't noticed. Whatever you guys want to do. Uh, Brandle, you can start. Okay, am I? Oh, no, that would count as two actions, right? If I did the polymorph and the illusion. Uh, you can typically you can only cast one spell of turn, but... Uh, you, you know, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. This is just improv okay. D&D, so. This is the uh, last turn anyway, so it doesn't work. Say, it doesn't well, work. Because my only idea here was to do uh, polymorph Brayden and then cast illusion magic on myself to try and blend in with the guards. The rest of the women. What are you going to polymorph Brayden into? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what are the women if that was uh, possible? So we both try to just walk out of there, but I feel like that might be kind of lame. Huh? What I, I would have did polymorph him into, uh, uh, into, no, I'm going to trans polymorph one of the, 
one of the women into Whammon. the <laughs> into a female T-Rex. So polymorph is uh, you you target someone that you can see, and right now you can't see shit. Shit, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so can I still cast it and just hope it hits somebody? Um, the only thing that you would be able to target is yourself, if you okay. want to do that. Okay, well then I will target you, myself, you god to, damn it. You have you to make the female T-Rex? You have yes. to make the big sacrifice, yes. Lois. Um, <laughs> we'll do that so, so Paladin Friend can get out of here. You turn into um, a raging uh, t- female T Rex, um, <clears throat> and you do kind of poof out of the darkness a little bit. And uh, the T Rex does notice you, and you can, you know, like the cartoonish, like heart thump, like the heart just like kind of. Pump, pumping yeah. out it's just it's basically that and like its eyes get all red and like the hearts got coming out of it uh that thing wants you uh you still have your movement where would you like to move to now that you can Arnally. see kind of like the uh to make uh a uh, way a way through the rest of the women to try to clear a path but also slightly make my way towards the dinosaur to try to lead him but also not trying to get close enough for anything to happen. <laughs> um, just roll a general dexterity check. Okay. Will be oh a two. So you trip and fall mm-hmm. over. Um, and the your tail kind of lifts up, and it definitely is like one of those things. Like, oh no, step bro, I'm stuck. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, Dino, I have fallen and my arms are too short to get up. Uh, but lucky for you, you do happen to crush about 15 of the guards, and there does okay. seem to be a bit of a path now. Um, and at least the guards are stuck under your massive Tyrannosaurus Rex female body. So <laughs> that's a kink. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, right in, it's your go. I'm going to ride the. I'm gonna ride the T-Rex. But I'm on my Which side. One? <laughs> There's two now, and you're like, whoa, where the fuck did the other one come from? <laughs> nobody will nobody will fucking believe this story if I'm the only one to make it out. <laughs> I mean I'm getting the new T-Rex, I'm gonna hop on its back. <laughs> You hop on its back. Um, oh just just roll like an athletics check. Um, for your athletics, you are surprisingly agile. You have a plus. You have a plus seven for your athletics. So uh, with the plus seven, it's nine. Oh, oh so as you try to climb up the uh, T Rex, you just kind of end up slipping and falling on your ass. So you just are unable to get on its back. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, am I? Am I? Uh, prone. You're not prone. You can get up still. You still have some movement left if you want to. You do kind of see um, where the TRX had landed, and you can kind of tell that there's a like a path that you could follow, uh, like by just kind of holding on to the T-Rex and like walking forward. Uh, do I have an idea of what my runes that are tattooed on my body and glowing do? Um. Yeah, so as you as you look down, uh, you are able to read the runes, and it does seem uh, they do appear to be symbols of your your deity and of your oath. So you uh, worship <laughs> you worship the god of death, uh, <laughs> and your oath is that of conquest, and you are also enslaved to a uh, a infernal <laughs> an infernal devil. And that is where you gain the ability to cast Fireball from. You're able to read it. So it's a mix of Infernal and Dwarvish. Uh, that, uh, the, the runes are on your body. And part of it's your pact that you made with the demon, uh, with the devil. And part of it is your oath that you made to conquer. Me mommy always said when I was a young dwarf boy that in times of trouble, let us pray. 
going to tell me God that I just sacrificed 30 to 40 Amazon babies in his name in hopes that he blesses this conquest. You get the feeling as you go to start your prayer that you're like, actually, my God, although he's like a God of death, doesn't really seem to care one way or another if you're good or evil. They just, they don't really care, uh, you know, a lot. They care more about like being neutral and just being true to yourself. So Mm, I'm being very true to myself right now. Yeah, you know, yeah, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a yeah, 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 yeah. I am a paladin, and what we do is pray. Okay, uh, you get a, you uh, feel your God's blessing upon you. You have a plus four to your saving throws for the rest of today. You do get like a little ethereal plate mail that surrounds you. So it takes your AC to what it would normally be, which is a 22. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you need anything else? Uh, do I have any cantrips? You have, yes, you do. You have Eldritch Blast. You have Prestidigitation. Um, you know that you can cast Eldritch Blast. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at the leader of the Unga Bunga clan. So make an attack roll with disadvantage because you you remember where they were at but you can't see because you're still in the darkness if you we call it spray and pray all right go for it yeah <laughs> uh, just make an attack roll with disadvantage you can and you add your uh, spell casting modifier which is a plus 11 uh so disadvantage 11 plus 11 so 22 okay, okay. roll damage i usually don't play as uh magic users what damage is that uh uh roll a d8 plus four six okay you hear go you hear someone say ah shit what the fuck man (laughs) (laughs) you're not you're actually it sounds different than the leader but you did hit someone I'll get you next time, you you playful fucking unga bungas. Okay. As you turn ends, the Amazonian women are all going to cave in. They're going to make a shit ton of attacks at the dinosaur, at the T-Rex. Because, um, uh, you know, you're either trampled and kill some of them, and you're still laying down on them. Um, and so, just for expediency, I'm going to roll what percentage of them hit real quick. Uh, we're looking at two percent of them hit. Fuck. They were slipping on the T Rex's ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no. That is a hundred percent of them hit. Oh. Sorry. Okay. All of them hit. All right. Yeah. The do, the double zeros is hundred. I think on this one. I'm pretty sure because one zero is ten. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yep. Earth. That means double zeros is ten. So yep. Okay. So that's hundred percent. That is uh, times forty to whatever this is in damage. Uh, That is uh, nine times forty. So zero. So three hundred sixty damage. So um, your. Yeah, your t- your T Rex form, <laughs> um, just as the bigger T Rex is about to come up and like insert itself into into you, uh, it dissipates, <laughs> and you are uh, back in your Twink Boy form. And um, I will say, just the the rest of that damage that would typically carry over onto you doesn't in this case because you go from being this huge massive thing to this. Super tiny halfling. It's shrouded in darkness. So they essentially miss because yeah, of miss. that. Because yeah, of they, the size the, change. Okay. The rest of the damage that would have gone uh, to you misses. So okay, yeah. Um, and then it is the T Rex turn, who is now enraged by the fact that he can't get his dick dick going. You know, like he's like, God damn, I'm so close. I feel <laughs> the 
I feel that, me lizard friend. And that's with disadvantage, so that's going to be a 2 plus 7, which is, will not hit. So, uh, 9. 9 will not be enough to hit. It just misses you, though. You you do not have an high AC while naked. So, uh, Brandle, it is your turn again. Um, okay. You do feel like you cannot cast Polymorph again. That was like a right. big chunk of your spell magic I, I ability. Guess. Still do illusion though. You could definitely still do an illusion. Uh, is that I'm a yeah that you said that was also single target. So can I cast that onto one of the uh, Amazonian women? You can kind of put it by one of them if you, like. What do you want to do? I uh, just have it uh, be away, for, uh, like far enough away from us, but uh, kind of next to the other T Rex, so it can give us an opportunity to try to uh, escape. Even okay. though we still have the uh, pressing matter with everyone else around us still. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, no, for sure. That that works. Um, so you kind of put it over by the other Amazonian women and this another female T-Rex kind of poofs out of nowhere. I'm going to see if it does trick the big T-Rex. Rolled it natural one. So yes, it does. Um, and then just kind of in general for the Amazonian women. It also tricks them. They think another female T-Rex has just suddenly appeared and it kind of scares the shit out of them a little bit. They're like, where are these coming from? What the fuck? You oh, thought you were special? You thought you only had one? Um, and now now there's even more of a path cleared um, that you can tell because you can kind of hear the shifting of feet uh, away from the path that you had originally intended. So, so you, can we do another dexterity check? I lean over to Braden to get his attention to show him the path. Uh, you have no idea where Braden is right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still it's still kind of dark. You're covered here. in darkness. Damn, shit's lasted a while. I should have waited a minute on that. <laughs> uh, okay, can I? Oh boy. <laughs> can, can I uh, yell to try to call for Braden? Uh, that will alert all the women to where you're at. Because uh, the only other option in my head here is you just do. To... Okay, yeah, you did have your brain like cleared out. You do remember you have a sending spell um, that lets you, you telepathically send a message to someone. Okay, uh, that okay. I was going to suggest that actually, but then I figured that wouldn't apply because of the illusion magic I had already used. I, but, listen, man, we're going to just like it, it's a bonus action spell. It's your bonus <laughs> action. You just won't be able to dash if you want to start trying to escape. OK, I'm going to do that to for Brayden. OK, what do you say? Uh, you have 15 words. <sighs> 15 words. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it, it's, it's like making a tweet. Yeah, it's yeah. like it, 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 you, you can't. You, it, it's specifically there's a specific limit to the amount of words you can use. So. Uh, oh gosh, because it's I can't give him any direction too. Which is the problem because we have no visibility. Uh, I try to tell him that there is a pathway currently clear. Um, there is a pathway currently clear. You're at six. Um, I'm gonna count pathway as one word. <laughs> it is one word. I know. <laughs> Um, but I have no idea which direction that would be for you. Which direction that and your message cuts off at that. No! <laughs> okay. Okay. I have no idea which direction that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what I, you hear. <laughs> run it. I love it. And it's your uh do you want to move anywhere? Uh I'm gonna try ends? try to make my way through the path clearing. Okay, now just roll a general dexterity check. For D20. You're a nimble motherfucker, so you have like a plus, you have like a plus five. Uh, I got in your In your base form, yeah. so 13. You are able yeah. to make it through the path, and you get quite a bit ahead. You almost reach the cusp end of where your darkness ends. I mm. mean, you can kind of start to see a little bit of like uh, flinters of light in your pre and you see um the guard exit like where you can exit from okay now it's your turn Braden. <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know which way to go 
But I know what direction the Onga Bungas were in previously. That is true. In the name of my God. Melkor. <laughs> Melkor. <laughs> I got a Vinny Vidi Vici. I shall conquer and ride the dragon. T-Rex thing. You're going to attempt to climb the angry, horny male T-Rex? Stand <laughs> dead. All right, so you full sprint. Um, just roll an athletics to check again. You have a plus, you have a plus five. 15 plus five. 20. You are able to make it to the top of the T-Rex. Um, now, are you trying to get it to kind of like work with you? Yeah. Okay, roll an animal handling check. 16 plus so whatever you, uh, plus three so 19 you are able to kind of like convince this t-rex you can go up to be like listen buddy we both like i got my nut off if you help me escape and and like get me out of here I, i'm certain we'll find more female t-rexes for you to fuck uh, and, and you probably point out to him like that's an illusion by my buddy so I'm, yeah, I'm, it, it, it's understanding I'm it was an agreement and it begins to charge forward to try and like trample itself out of the arena with you let's fucking go uh, <laughs> and as it, as it does get there I'm going to just roll general uh, percentage die again to see how many of the Amazonian women hit oh shit oh that's double zero again I you know what Okay, that's 40, 47%. So I'll just make it even 50. So out of the 80, like 30 of them have been squashed at this point. So 70, so 35. 35 times. <clears throat> oh, wait, that's wrong dice. 35 times one. So 35 points of damage. It, they all shoot an arrow and it just kind of like bounces off the T-Rex's hide. Um, and... Uh, uh, the other half of them miss and you're just like, well, shit. Uh, but it does seem to have like done some damage to the T-Rex, just not a lot. The T-Rex seems to be pretty sturdy, pretty healthy. Um, My new friend here is a very sturdy lizard. Yeah. Um, as it runs past, it does goes towards the illusion um, and it, it attempts to mount it for a second and it, then it, like, it, it gets convinced. It's like, oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, that is an illusion. And it's going to attempt to jump over the arena, the arena itself. It uh, rolled an 11 and uh, it, it gets about, it gets onto some of the stands, squishing some more of the Amazonian women that haven't fled or that were in the process of fleeing during this time. So, <clears throat> and then we go back to the top of the order. So, uh, <laughs> Brandon, it's your turn. I mean, Brandel, it's your turn. Uh, do I see him trying to jump over the arena as I'm making you, you my escape? You did hear a T-Rex jump and squish some things. You, okay. I wouldn't say you you saw it, but you definitely heard it. And you're like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Straight fetish bait. So can I uh, assume off of that 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 means either the illusion magic had worked in luring him, or I assume my big-headed friend here uh, mounted the T-Rex himself you trying to take control. The illusion magic worked. Okay, and you so know, you that's sent a the, spell, so you know. Got it. So I'm gonna go on the chance that he is also on his way, trying to make an escape, unsure of which situation had happened, and try to make my way out uh, uh, through the exit and escape. Um, so you would want a need what another dexterity check. You can either do dexterity uh, just to see if you can like essentially sprint past all the guards, or you can try and like do it sneakily, like stealthily. Um, so mm. your your choice. Let's go with the dexterity. Okay, so yeah, plus uh, plus seven we there for just say a general dexterity save. I got a nat twenty. So oh yeah, do you you <laughs> hightail it out of there? Yeah, and you you get out of the arena as you're getting out. You're able to see your buddy on top of the T Rex, just like laughing, <laughs> uh, <laughs> in like this ethereal plate mail. 
<laughs> riding the T-Rex and you're like, holy shit. And you just sprint past. Some of the guards notice you, but they're like too distracted from the chaos that's been caused. And you does he make witness, it out there, Does he witness safe. just me being a hard as shit? 100%. Yeah, you are <laughs> rock hard. <laughs> your beard's kind of covering a little bit, so it makes it a little hard to see, but like it's so definitely poking out your beard. See him. I was going to say poking yeah. through the beard. <laughs> poking through the beard a little bit. Um, my chin. Yeah. And you make it safely. Your character is able to live for another uh, p- possible adventure. So, uh, Brayden, it is uh, your turn. You are uh, free to try and have the T-Rex attempt to jump over and ride off into the sunset. You're free to do whatever <laughs> the fuck you want. This is going to be your last turn, though. <laughs> There's one thing I must do before we make this jump, my dino friend. <laughs> Turn around and fireball the rest of the crowd. Um, as you go to do that, a there is a the leader did seem to kind of be prepping uh, for a spell this time. And she casts counter spell to your fireball. And so as oh, your okay, fireball, never mind, never mind. Jump, jump, jump. jump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, goes to jump. It rolled a 18. So it jumps up high. But during that time, the leader does cast. Um, it is going to try and attempt to um, hit you with a fireball of her own. Um, so I just need you to make a dexterity saving throw real quick, real quick, real, real quick Bray. My, uh, my armor? No, 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 it's a fireball. So she's just gonna, it just happens. She just points and... <laughs> Eight. Okay, I'm gonna oh. take the full brunt of this damage. Oh boy. <clears throat> Roll 10d6 for me. Oh shit. All right. All right. So, Brayden, <clears throat> you take 38 fire damage as just this ball of fire <laughs> hits you on the, ba- <laughs> on the back. Um, the dinosaur actually made the save, so it's going to take half damage. Uh, but uh, you both kind of just get, as it's midair, propelled forward and you land out in the forest. Uh, you will fall off the T Rex. Right- I'll, I'll make a dexterity saving throw to see if you hold on or an athletics check. Uh, your choice. Do I get advantage? Athletics check, uh, you won't have advantage, but you have a higher pl- you have a higher save. If you remember, your dexterity is not amazing, uh, but you will, since you're already having to make a save for the fireball, you will have advantage on just a regular. So you have like a plus two with advantage or a plus five, just, you know, not an advantage. Uh, I'm going to take advantage, and that is a 10. So plus two. So you yep. do fall off the dinosaur as a DC 15. Um, and it, as it was pretty high up in the air, you're going to take. I'm just, and 60 points of bludgeoning damage and you will fall unconscious. Mm. Um, but you are pretty far from the arena as it lands. The dinosaur uh, kind of scampers off into the forest. Um, but you you fall unconscious, uh, so and that's where the story ends. <laughs> Congrats, boys! You made it out yeah. uh, with one person just getting a little greedy and getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> had to go out yeah, with style, you go man. And you, did go you style. Slow. I I tried to save you. Thank you. I no, saved you. That he saw you, you laughing you gleefully with a hard on on top of a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Too. I was simply fulfilling my duty as my lord commands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But uh, well, thanks everyone for listening to Hard Homies podcast. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this new niche that we're doing. Uh, uh, let us know. Let us know if you want us. Yeah, I hope you all liked my dino buddy who abandoned me as well before me telling him that my twink friend was the female T-Rex the whole time. (laughs) 
dinosaur.